This memory card should work, but it doesn't. There are many different memory card options for recording with the FX3. For higher frame rates in XAVCSI, more expensive cards are required, such as a V90 UHS-2 or a CFast Type-A card. But what about Sony's own V60 card? But first, what does this V rating stand for? Guaranteed megabytes per second. This means V60 stands for a guaranteed 60 megabytes per second. Let's take a look at the data rates the camera writes and also the data rates that arises during an external recording in ProRes HQ. In order to better compare these writing speeds, I'll now convert everything to megabytes per second. Okay, 25 and 30p should technically not be a problem. But Sony wants you to buy a faster and more expensive card. But wait, there's more. Let's take a look at what happens with the FX6 and the exact same card. All I 25p, no problem. What about 50p? Interestingly, we get the message that the card is not a guaranteed memory card. But we can still record without any problem. Just for fun, what about 100p? Seems to work fine. Here are the data rates at the different frame rates. 50p is theoretically just above the promised 600 megabytes per second and still works. How come? In order to prevent the write speed from decrease over time, I constantly recorded ProRes HQ. Remember, it's 110 megabytes per second. First I filled the card half, then 75%, and at last 95%. The writing speed of the card were constant at around 122 megabytes per second. On one hand, this speaks very much for the memory card. On the other hand, very strongly against Sony's decision to install an artificial limitation in the FX3. Even if the card may slow down over the years, maybe, it should be possible to record at least 25 or 30p. Of course, I bothered Sony again with my questions. The result? Even after I explicitly mentioned my tests and that it looks like an artificial limitation to me, the answer always was, please use at least V90 cards. If you're interested, here are the writing speeds for the SunDisk V90 and the Lexart Type-A card. By the way, with the V90 card, it's also not possible to record more than 60p, although the card practically works fine in other devices with higher data rates.